Welcome to the Thomas Elaine Academy community. My name is Mark Lewis and I'm incredibly proud to be head teacher of Thomas Elaine's. I hope that everyone watching this is well and that you have managed to adjust to the unusual and challenging times we are all living through. Under normal circumstances, I would have had the chance to speak to you in person on several occasions and visit our New Year 7 students in their primary schools and welcome you to our beautiful and historic school site for a number of different activities. Unfortunately, we are all having to adapt to a world where remote learning is the new norm. Our current students are being set work online by their teachers every week, and I've had to rapidly become an expert in conducting online video meetings. Whilst none of us know what school will look like in September in terms of social distancing, I would like to reassure you that our fantastic team at Thomas Elaine's will do our very best to ensure a smooth transition to secondary school. Whilst much has changed, I'd like to emphasise that the core values that bind us together as a school community remain as strong and important as ever. We continue to encourage our students to take pride, show respect, aim high, be safe and create and succeed, and we look forward to being able to recognise your child's achievements in these values when they join our school. In the absence of a presentation evening, I hope this video, our website and the additional information we have sent home help to prepare you and your child for starting at Thomas Elaine's. If you have any further questions, please contact us at school and we will do our best to help and support. Hello, my name is Monique Honigan and I'm going to be your head of year when you join us in Year 7 in September. It's been lovely to have a look through your questionnaires and get to know some of your interests and hobbies. In normal circumstances, we would have visited you in your primary schools and we would have been able to discuss any concerns that you would have had about the transition and I would have been there to answer some questions for you. I've looked at the questionnaires and some of you have no concerns, which is really, really good. And some of you have concerns that are the same as everyone else's. Quite a lot of you are worried about getting lost and being late to lessons and getting into trouble for this. The teachers understand that it might be a bit tricky for you to find your way around in the first few weeks. On your first day, you'll get your a timetable and you'll get given a map. The map will have every room in the school on it and it will show you where to go. There are also loads of other students who are really kind and helpful and will help to navigate your way around. As some of you may know, we have a house system. So students participate in house competitions throughout the year to win things such as non-uniform days. If you have a sibling already at TAA, you will be placed in their house for your former group. Some of you are coming from primary school where there's a large group of you, some a small group of you, and some are the only child from their primary school. We'll try and place you in a form group with at least one other person from your school. A few of you were concerned about making friends. Secondary school is a big change and we understand that, but it's also a great time for you to make new friends and meet new people. Friendships can change a lot in year seven, and there are 180 of you so there are plenty of people to become friends with. We also run a load of lunchtime and after school clubs that you can attend. They're free for everyone. All you have to do is turn up. At these clubs, you can meet people who have similar interests to you. We use an app called Show My Homework to set homework. As a year seven, you'll get one piece of maths, one piece of English and 30 minutes reading each week. Other subjects will set homework two or three times every half term. We have a reward system at Thomas Elaine's, and if you consistently follow our core values, you'll be able to earn merits, postcards and badges. When you earn five postcards in one category, you'll earn that badge. Once you've got all five badges, you'll earn a bronze, you have to then get another five to get a silver, and then another five to get a gold. Once you have a gold, your name will be inscribed on a wall in the main hall, and that will stay there forever. A few of you have mentioned about other children being unkind. Now, there are unkind people in every school that you go to. One of our core values is show respect. So anyone who has been unkind is going against that. We do not tolerate bullying at Thomas Elaine's and we will work with all students involved in unkind behaviour in order to solve those issues. We can only deal with the behaviour that we are made aware of. So if someone's being unkind to you or you see someone being unkind to someone else, there are a number of people that you can report this to. Understandably, some of you are worried about not having a transition day in July. We've decided to give you an extra transition day on September the 4th and more information will be sent out to you. I know we've not been able to meet you all in person, but please be assured that we've been in contact with all of your primary schools to gather all the information that we need to know for the transition. 
I will also pass all of your questionnaires onto your full tutor so they can get to know a bit about you before you start with us in September. We will be calling home to have a chat with you over the next few weeks. But if you have any questions before that, please do not hesitate to email me. Thank you. When I was in primary and I was about to come to senior school, I was worried about how big the school was going to be and not getting lost around the school. I was also worried about how many people were going to be there because in my old school there were only 20 people per class and now there are a lot more people. This year I have enjoyed English and Science and meeting a lot more people all around the school. In this year my best experience was that we have labs and we can do loads more experience than we did in primary. When I started when I started, I got lost and didn't know where to go, but after a couple of days I got used to it and I could ask my teachers and other people around the school. At lunchtime, the money system works very well and all the food is a good price. And also in the summer, you are allowed to go onto the field and you can do sports in the hall. The field and the field. And if it's winter, you can do sports in the hall because it's open all in the morning for doing and the library is open for doing homework and talking quietly. So far my experience of year seven has been good but I did feel a bit nervous as a start as I knew I wasn't going to be one of the big, bigger kids anymore. I was also worried about getting lost in and around the school. If you are late because you got lost just tell your teacher and they will understand in the first few lessons you learn each other's name and a little bit about them to help you make more friends. In year 7 there are more science experiments and more sports to try in clubs or even PE. We went on a trip to Kidzania in January and were supposed to go on an overnight stay in May, PGL, but we couldn't go due to Covid-19. I, I joined a few clubs out of the many on offer and I really enjoyed them. If you were to have a problem you could go to pastoral office which is located in maths block or you could tell your form tutor who you see every day and maybe have them for lesson. All the teachers are really nice and will help you with any problems no matter what. Overall I enjoy starting secondary school. Everything is better in some way. It felt so different on my first day. I was overwhelmed. I had been to um, the school before transition day but seeing the school lively was a bit weird. Moving around classes was so confusing. I remember spending ages looking for the second floor of um, C block and also E block. You'll find your way within a week though, so don't worry. When I started, I was not worried. In fact, I was more than excited than anything else. But in the back of my mind, I was worried about the new levels of work. I've had a lot of fun times and memories, and I'm excited to go back in year 8. Although, if I'm going to talk about what I enjoyed in year 7, my first thought was joining the school rugby team. It felt special. I was part of something while I grew with them. Science was also fun, especially as we had experiments, which were actually fun compared to the ones in primary school. DT was also fun when you made stuff. We went to Kidzania, which is kind of a mini city where you can do jobs and get money, which you spend at the end. That, so that was good. Another place we went to was the orchestra, which was the first time I had been to one, and if I'm honest, I'm a fan. It was good. When I have a problem, I usually just talk to my friend, just why I feel helps me the best, and I don't ever feel I need anything more than that, but in a case that is quite a serious problem, um, I just go to my form tutor, they're always understanding. My experience of Year 7 and transition. When I moved into Thomas L. Lane's Academy, I was scared that I would get lost and make no friends, but I was completely wrong. So many people here are really friendly and in the next few weeks you'll have some new friends and you'll know where all your classes are. I have enjoyed lots of different things such as making new friends, having fun lessons and just having a laugh with some of the teachers. My favourite lesson so far is drama because it, gives, because it is really fun and enjoyable to do. I also, it also gives you something to push yourself on. I have been on two trips, a music one to see an orchestra and a trip to Kidzania. It was really fun to spend time with friends. I was also part of the cheerleading team, which I was really which was really fun if you want a challenge. I attended the cheerleading club straight after school on a Wednesday, three o'clock till four o'clock or sometimes four thirty. 
If you have any problems, there is a place called Pastoral to go when you have an issue or an accident. They're, they help you solve your problems or give you some confidence. I feel safe at Thomas Allen's Academy and happy and smart and powerful. If I was to start Year 7 again, I would not be as worried and scared, but I would be more excited and happy because Thomas Allen's is a fun place to be.